to occupational, career, and technical education. And one of the other areas in our college is what we call the Gateway Center for Career Training. It's not in this building, it's in the facility across the street. We know that many of the people in our community really need to get to work quickly. And so we have non-credit occupational and career training programs that go anywhere from six weeks to six months, sometimes to 12 or 18 months. They are designed to make sure that people get adequate training to go right into the workforce. But what we're doing is we're building a lot of crosswalks to our credit programs. We want these students, after they graduate, to come back to us and to be able to move on to credit certificates or associate degrees. We see the occupational non-credit training path as a beginning, not an end. It is not simply a second choice alternative. It is really the beginning of a very, very long and we hope productive career path. We have six programs over in that building, and they are all tied very tightly to the employment needs of our community. And representing those students today is the young lady to Dr. Biden's right is Tiffany Brown. Tiffany, would you tell us a little bit about your program, you're the dental assistant program, correct? Please, would you share some comments with us? Yes, I started with the dental assistant program in February. Excuse me, do you have to speak up a little bit? It's a three month program. <coughs>
solution reimbursement because, like Michelle said, it's so important. I know how students struggle and are working and what they're trying to as children going to school. It's hard. It's really hard. So, you know, you have to admire all the students who are here today for, for what they're going through and just try to get them. And so I guess I'm the person that has to do the close of this fantastic set of panelists um, and such diversity. I think, you know, just listening to the stories of the students and thinking about 40 years ago when I started as a teacher, how siloed we were when we had career technical training, it was called vocational training, as you said, um, and there was a lot of controversy. Students could either go here or there, and it was never, as you said, uh, President Weiss, the crosswalks. And so now listening to what the students have shared and the stories of Sean and others, um, talking about this is going to be a lifelong pursuit for the students, and wherever they start, RAC is, a, is enabling them to start at whatever level with whatever skills they have. And what is so impressive to me is the fact that the business community, whether it's Hershey's or Carpenter or East Penn or Bayer, all of you are really invested with the professors, with the college president, with the philanthropy, with the mayor, and we've got a lot of community folks here who are really supporting this program to grow. And as you grow, they will grow. And so what is the other you know, comment I would have is that it's, it's so impressive that not only are you crossing walks, but you're focused on how the industry is changing so quickly, and you've got a human capital development plan, and the college has a, a program capital development plan. So as the college grows its program to meet your needs, we're going to be hiring those young people or working adults or people that need to change jobs because the industry is changing. And I think you made the point about the equipment is so fast changing that we have to keep up and, and students will know that they're going to have to go back over a lifetime. And I think what also is um, so incredibly important for the nation is the fact that you can start in a non-credit program or a credit program. You can start in a career technical high school program, or you can walk in the door to RAC, and you can actually take the students from where they are to advance in their skills. So this is a community college that is a model. And one of the things Dr. Biden made possible when we did our first summit on community colleges uh, was to have the vision for the career technical training really integrated with the full range of academic educational opportunities that students will need. So I am confident you will become that engineer, you will become that healthcare professional. Uh, all the students in the audience, there is a future for you. You know, we've gone through a really tough time, but I was on the phone, I think last Friday, or maybe it was two Fridays ago, where the White House was saying that in the last, um, since 2005, in the, that last period of time, we now have more manufacturing jobs than we did in that whole tranche of time before. So manufacturing is coming back, and I think the fact that you know, the companies here, Hershey's and others, are really growing um, intelligently, and you've got facilities not only here in Pennsylvania, but other places. Um, you know, the community colleges can learn from the model here and adopt, and that's what the trade grants is, are really designed to do. So it was really heartening to me, having worked on those standards for the trade grants, to know that the money is being used and that industry is really partnering uh, in an effective way. And I do have to give a shout out to our uh, Department of Labor folks who are here because it's the partnership between Ed and Labor, Education Department and the Labor Department. It's the leadership of the White House, Dr. Biden, bringing the, the, the unsung heroes of community colleges forward to the nation. And it's industry stepping up and saying, we can do things differently by partnering in different ways, by looking at the curriculum, telling the community colleges what we need, and having the community colleges and professors like you partner to get the curriculum and the CNC lab. Um, you know, so the CNC is one of my favorite programs. I was mentioning this at the Senate yesterday, actually, yeah, today, Wednesday, um, about how uh, 30 years ago, we couldn't have upgraded the equipment in, you know, in the early CNC versions without industry support. And today, the equipment is changing so quickly 
that industry is helping this college grow and be all that it can be. So I want to thank you all for coming. I think we should give a round of applause to the students uh, as an encouragement.